Hundreds of supporters of Aboriginal teenager TJ Hickey have marched to New South Wales Parliament House to mark the 10th anniversary of his death. A decade on, his family is still angry. And I'm here today to get a bit of justice for this little boy. He was a nephew of mine. Justice is implied to find out who is responsible for the death, how the death happening, who are the people in the government that were involved in the cover-up. If I hit someone, I'd be in jail. So why aren't the cops that killed TJ Hickey in jail? Ten years to this day, TJ was being pursued by a police vehicle. The circumstances are still pretty clear that he was chased by the police. And the police vehicle rammed him from behind on his bicycle, which catapulted him onto the wire fence which stands behind us. We want a new investigation, a new inquest. We want a memorial plaque to be affixed to the fence line. And we want an apology from the New South Wales government to the Hickey family. We're very close to the time that TJ was impaled on that fence after he was rammed by a Redfern police vehicle. TJ was, was impaled upon that and then and torn off by the same police officers, which led to his, his death. So it was a death in custody. <laughs> The evidence was disappeared by the police department of the bicycle, the uh, concertina rear tyre of the bicycle, which did appear in the Daily Telegraph on the day of TJ's death. Then that photograph and that tyre disappeared and replaced by a brand new tyre. We asked for that push bike. It took us a year or two to get back and they gave us one they bought from Kmart. It was brand friggin' new. The police investigation was rorted and it came out that it was only the police evidence that was given to the coroner. When you look at the coronial inquiry, the key witnesses were not called. Because who prepared the brief of evidence? Who put the material before the coroner? Well, the New South Wales police did. The coroner stopped evidence from coming into the inquest. He stopped witnesses. We've got a system in New South Wales where when there's a death involving a police pursuit or a police custody, we have police investigating police. What do we want? Justice! When do we want it? Now! 450 Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander men and women and children have died. More than half have died at the hands of the police forces of this country. No one believes that system can ever produce a fair result for TJ or his family. I lost my son in death and custody too. How many cops have got to jail? Zero. These people here need to be accountable. I've seen this family for 10 years in their tweet, their sorrow, their sobbing business. That is heartbreaking. not satisfied with the death of the loved ones, they harass the family. They get bashed in jail, they get bashed everywhere they go. My daughter down in Woolloomooloo, lying on her bed almost dead. The system is treating us like we are the terrorists. When our kids are born, they are born free in their own land. But the system moves in to take away our freedom, take away our identities, even take away our children. I'm not a racist person, but this country is. Especially by the police, yes. by the system, yes. by the judges, by the screws. It's going to be 10 years on and still no justice. You murdered TJ, we did it, leave us alone. The police is responsible for the death of TJ. Without the police action, TJ would be alive today. One, one, one. For a decade now, the family's been trying to get a plaque 
commemorating TJ. The main opposition to the plaque is the Redfern police. The New South Wales police have been given a veto over the wording. What other family needs to get permission of the police before they have a memorial on the grave or the site where their child died? And I will not stop till I get what I want. I want the plaque on the fence. I want a new inquest to be open and I want an apology. coming on the 14th February every year until we get a bit of justice for TJ. I'm here today because I think the situation for Indigenous Australians is so dire. The level of racism and discrimination against them is very strong and I think all of us in Australia need to be aware and take action. There's growing awareness that deaths in custody have to end, that racism exists and that Indigenous people need self-determination if any of these problems are going to be solved. I don't want their blood money, I don't want their sympathy, I want justice for a little boy that died innocently. And I don't care how long it takes 